Hey, what is up guys? This is the Bug Catcher JLF, and today I'm showing you how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator on your phone. There's no jailbreaking. It's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, it's and it's real easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this website. Link will be in the description on your iPhone. I'm currently on my computer just because it's clearer, it's easier to see, I can talk about more stuff. Open it up on your iPhone web browser. Um, pretty sure it has to be in Safari. My friend tried to use uh, Google Chrome and he was having trouble, so use Safari, open it up, and you're gonna scroll down. This website actually has a bunch of stuff on it. It's pretty sweet. Um, but we're going to be focusing on the GBA for iOS. Now, on your iPhone, you're just going to click. You can click install. You can click on this little button. And then a little pop-up is going to come up. And it's going to say install. And then you're going to hit install. And then you're pretty much good to go. Little I This icon will pop up. Uh, it'll start to download. This website has some pretty sweet stuff. Actually, it's got you know Game Boy Color. It's got you know uh, a Nintendo DS. I've tried the, this one. You know it's really buggy. I couldn't really get it to work. Um, but you know, record my screen. It's pretty sweet. Um, and you know stuff. But the only thing is, is that if you if you download the GBA for iOS and then you try and download the Gear Boy it overwrites the already downloaded app it doesn't get rid of um, the ROMs that you've already downloaded but it does change the app so that kinda sucks but they said the website says expect multi-app uh, no overwriting installing in two weeks so that'll be sweet and we're going to switch over to the iPhone view. Alright, so now that we have the app downloaded, mine is right here. You're going to open it up. You're going to find, I already have some uh, ROMs downloaded, but in this top right corner, you're going to find this little search button. You can click on that, it's going to bring you to Safari, and it's already going to have... Uh, Two perfectly good, the top two websites, perfectly good websites to download ROMs. I like CoolRoms.com, uh, just because it's nice and cool, I guess. Um, but you're going to go there, and right away, you're already at the top 25 downloaded. So, you get Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Fire Red. There's just tons of options. You can, you can click on one. We'll click on Dragon Ball Z. You open it up, and you'll scroll down. Hit download now. It'll download. It may take, you know, a couple, 15 seconds. Um, because it's, you know, it's a couple megabytes. So it takes a little while. I guess uh, while we're waiting, uh, you could comment on how I could be a hand model or something. Okay. It is finally done. You will come to this page right here. And there's going to be a little open in GBA for iOS. You're going to click that. It's going to bring you right here. And then there you go. It's downloaded. Boost Fury. And it is just a fantastic little device you got here. And if you're on the iPhone 5, what you can do is there's a little menu button down here. Hit it. You can toggle the speed. And it works like a normal emulator, and it speeds up the game, which is incredible. But this only works on an iPhone 5. If you have an iPhone 4, you can still hit menu, but that toggle speed is not going to be there. One more thing, if you're playing Pokemon, the way you save is normal. You just, you know, you regularly save, and you don't need a save state, load state. I've tried it, it doesn't work. So just save normally. And that's all I got for you today. One last thing. Quick shout out to Blackson and Jackson. <laughs> They're actually the same people, but he wanted me to say that. Uh, for showing me how to do that. Uh, you're a great guy. 
Thanks a lot. <laughs>